Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's uh, book number three out of the series of books that I've been making using leftover paper. This is one from Basic Gray. It's called Hey Boy. This wasn't so much leftover paper. I just hadn't used it yet. I had used a few pages out of it, and that was it. So I used this paper. It's double-sided, and this was a lot of fun. So since it's called Hey Boy, and it has a lot of papers in it that would be suitable for a boy, I thought maybe a mother would like to scrapbook, journal about her son or sons in this book. Um, this paper is from Recollections um, uh, Documented, this houndstooth background. And then these, um, I'll tell you, when I make a book, after I cut the pages to the right size, I keep all of my scraps and strips off to the side while I'm working and I have them right there to be visual to me and then I will often go through my little um, boxes and my binder with all my little bits and pieces and journaling things and pull out things that look like they would go with the paper that I'm using or the theme or idea and I have these where I can see them and so I use I just pull from these as I'm working and build these pages and I did that a lot in this book you'll see that the cover is just full of Cricut cutouts that I had. Uh, I think everything here, this is from my Big Shot. It's a Stampin' Up! die. It comes with several different pieces. And this was a cutout from uh, a paper pad that I had. And the rest were all cut out from the Cricut. So I just collaged them on there. I have some bright colored library cards and library pockets. And I don't do a lot of bright colors. So I used them in this book because they went very well. So I used this orange library pocket and stamped Be Happy. And stamped Life is Good on the yellow card. This is part of the paper. Other papers that are in this book are all, they're all basic gray, I, I believe. I believe every page is basic gray. Most of them are from Hey Boy. Some of them are from fact or fiction, one or the other. And uh, this is just a journaling card. I got a set of journaling cards and that was just one of the cards in there. Um, this one I decorated with washi tape and put a little sticker on there that says just because. I did. I decorated it with washi tape because I stitched on these pockets. I cut them at an angle and stitched them on and then I covered the stitching on this side with washi tape. So I put in um, some journaling cards. This is a tag cut from the Cricut and I stamped journaling lines and it says it's all in the details. Put a ribbon in there. This one is not from Basic Gray. It's, um, I think I have it right here. It's this DCWV Ledger stack. So I thought that was cute, and I made a little tab there. And on the other side, I used a cutout left over from the paper. It says one way, some Cricut arrows, some washi tape. This is an envelope that I had made. I think it was made with the Cricut, or else I can't remember. I've had it for a long time. And this is from the Cricut. I think it's from tags, bags, and things, or else it's from the findings one. And um, it's this little, I don't even know what you call these things, but it was, I cut it from, uh, it's its double. And then I folded it over, and I, I should have had one out to show you, but I only glued it down part way so that this flap can go under there. And then I put a time card in there and stamped on it and put a pull tab on it. And I glued a smash card up there. Here's another scrap of the paper. So cute. It looks like um, cassette tapes. And kids nowadays would be like, what is that? But <clears throat> I made a pocket out of the leftovers and then made a journaling card out of another part of the leftovers and stamped on it. Put some ledger paper on the back and stamped on a shipping tag here. And there's another scrap of the paper that became, I didn't have to put anything on the back because it's this, it's the back of this. So I just stamped. So you can write on that. This was uh, a cutout 
it's like the outline of a ticket, a cutout from the Cricut, and I put it over this little card that says enjoy moments like this. This paper is so cute with all these bright colored stripes and it just has random num numbers all over it. Some monkeys with their boom boxes. Here is a Polaroid um, die cut. It came with this die cut. And I, it's um, a Stampin' Up! set of dies that I used in my big shop. And this is just a cutout. And this one was a light colored wood grain design, so I stamped what I love about this kid. I have a set that says, it has this stamp, what I love about. And then it has this stamp, and then you have all these different things you can stamp in here. You saw in one of my other books in the last video, I put my life, so what I love about my life. There's different things I can stamp in there. And then these arrows are cut with the Cricut. This is an autumn leaves stamp from a set that I have that says that funny thing you said. Every mother needs a book like that. <clears throat> and this one has a train pocket. This is from the Hey Boy collection. Some journaling tags. These are from we are memory keepers, I think. I bought them at Target. And then there's an envelope in here that has some leftover pieces that can be used throughout the book. Um, this is just a leftover strip. I turned it into a fishtail banner. And then some arrows. This arrow is one that, it's a die cut that came, the die came with <laughs> this. Left another scrap and a journaling tag. There's that paper with all the cassettes on it, VC, uh, VHS tapes. Here's another sheet from that um, DCWV ledger pad. Another um, tab on it. There's that train paper. This was a pocket that I had made. Uh, I saw it on somebody's video. This is supposed to be in there. It's got two pockets actually and the front pocket is edge punched and then I use craft paper from the, for the middle pocket and the background. I stamped this on it and then this is a chipboard tag that I sprayed with some uh, Heidi Swap sparkly stuff orange put some stickers on it and a journaling card so this can go in there and then these little smash pad pages can go in there this is from one of the basic gray sets I used one of the orange library cards there and put a sticker a Tim Holt sticker that says Chronicles a little bingo card that says true story this paper is just full of arrows, so I added some more of my Cricut arrows on it. There's a little card that says enjoy the ride, and another card here that I glued on, and another Cricut cutout. And then I had this little strip of, of tickets and another leftover scrap. So as you see, when I have all these little bits and pieces and my leftover scraps laying right there, I can just see what looks good and grab it and slap it on there. This was printed this way. It looks like a graph paper, but it's got all these numbers, columns of numbers. Another orange library card, a blue or pocket and a blue card, and I glued on this little card that says totally noteworthy. So that's a nice little smash book for a mom to use for her boy, or if a boy wanted to smash. I just don't see a lot of boys wanting to get into doing this, but I know my daughter would enjoy doing things like that for her boys. And I gave her a smash book. Um, but oh, she's too busy. A lot of moms are just so busy. But she's going to put stuff in it. She's saving stuff to put in it. So there's the third book. And I'm, I've got a couple more to show you. And I'm still working on more. So I'll be back with more videos. Please leave a comment. And uh, let me know what you think. Give me some suggestions. And um, just let me hear from you. I enjoy hearing from you. And I'll be back again soon. Bye.